Good morning. My name is Rosanna. Welcome to Crochet with Nana Rosanna. Uh, I'm getting this out a little late this week because um, I was sick in bed for a few days. We're not sure what happened. Had a high fever. I did my test and it wasn't not the C word. We don't like that word here. Um, I'm feeling a little better so I thought I'd put this out this morning. I didn't get much done as much as I normally get done this week but I did get a few things done and I have a few whips so I'd like to share them with you. Uh, my first whip, oh, and a couple of them are knitting, my first whip I'm working on is the Ross hat. I'm very new at knitting and I'm liking it. It just takes so much longer than crochet but that's okay. My granddaughter uh, once again has requested that I make a hat but not for her. She asked me to uh, make one for her dad, whose birthday is next month, and his favorite color is green. So I'm making him a hat, and then she said she wanted one to match, so I guess I'm making one for her also. So I've started on the first hat, and I'm following um, Ross's pattern, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. It just takes a long time, and I'm getting better at my stitches. They're fairly consistent. You can see where... You know, my tension is different, but I am loving it. So that's my first whip, and it's the Ross's hat. So I'll be making two of these before the end of next month. And the yarn I'm using for this hat is Red Heart Comfort. I got this on Amazon. I check Amazon almost every day, and if there's a sale on one yarn or one color, I grab it. So this is red heart with comfort and there is quite a lot of yarn in here it's a four weight and there's 792 meters or 867 yards so it's it's not the softest but it's the color she picked so that's my first whip my second whip is i had some leftover bernat baby soft cotton from my top I made so I thought I'd make a dish rag and I've never used needles so small so I'm just gonna make a dish cloth and it's coming along okay it's just practice practice and uh, practice makes perfect but I don't know how far we'll get with that <laughs> so that's the dish cloth and that's with Bernat baby softy cotton and I should have more than enough to finish a dish cloth with this cotton Um, I did work a little bit on my Moroccan uh, purple blanket. Uh, I only did a few rows, so that's about it. And um, I'm working on a paint by numbers. This is what I am painting. This is not. The, this is what came in the kit. So that's the picture. And it's there's quite a lot, and I've been using a magnifying glass because. They're so tiny, the numbers. So I'm looking forward to getting this done. And what I do with these, I've been painting a lot of flowers. And um, what I do is I put a clear shellac over them, frame them, and then we hang them up on the uh, fence around our yard. So we have bright, colorful pictures all over. So I've probably got about 20 of them. I don't need any more, but it's one of the uh, items I enjoy doing first thing in the morning, just to pass the morning away with my coffee and watching all my YouTube videos. So I'm working on that painting. I've done no diamond painting this week at all. And my next whip is my Moroccan, uh, sorry, my Marquee Challenge. It's uh, by... Um, Heather the Crochet Witch and uh, Sandy at Crochet A Canada. And this month was the marquee from Purple Rain. So that was, uh, so all I have to do with this is sew in my ends. So it could be a finished object to some people, but to me, I need my ends done. So that's the color of it. I really, really like the way it turned out excellent colors so the yarns i used for this is in the white it, I, it was just a scrap ball because it was very tiny so i used um just scrap white i believe it feels like a uh, red heart and then the uh, gold color is bernat 
Premium. And the color is called Gold. And it's a number four. And there's 360 yards in each ball of that. So I only used a bit of it. It was a skein that I had already used, so a partial skein left over. And then the uh, variegated color around the end was Grape Fizzle. And that's a Red Heart Super Saver. And I really like the way the colors changed in each square. I really, really like that. And it is a number four worsted weight. And we have 236 yards in the Super Saver. And then the next color I used was a a craft smart which is a michael's brand and i really like it. Uh, it i find it really soft now it's changed since when i first started using it so this color is called purple <laughs> appropriate and uh, 354 yards in that and it's also a four weight worsted weight and then my black was a super saver red heart again in the color black so I'm really pleased with this. And um, my daughter has said she really likes the color. So I may end up making another blanket with this. And then I just, the border, I just did single crochets all the way around with each of the colors. I believe I did two or three single crochets with the variegated grape fizzle. So I'm very happy with that. So this um, is a finished object basically. So that's that. So that's what I finished. And then last weekend, my granddaughter was over and she was wearing these cute little socks that had emojis on them. And it was an emoji with a heart eye and the other eye was winking. And she goes, Nana, can you make me this? And I said, what do you want? She goes, I don't know. I said, I could maybe try a pillow. So that's what I did. I used... The Red Heart Comfort, and this is also from Amazon when it was on sales. Like I said, I love going through Amazon and finding the uh, colors on sale. Like sometimes this color is at like $15.99 in Canada, and I think I got it for $7.99. It was half price. It was 50% off. So that was great. So it's the Red Heart Comfort, and it is a worsted number four medium, and there's 792 meters and 867 yards in this and the color is hmm, no name just uh, number E707D I am not sure what happened my computer shut down as I was uh, in the middle of recording so um, it was the red heart comfort and the emoji turned out really well I didn't use a pattern. What I did is I just started with uh, eight single crochets, then doubled it, and then you know one single crochet increase and two single crochet increase. And by the time I got out to 16, it was really roughly around the end. So I'm thinking maybe next time if I make another one, I will put um, just a single row of crochet up around a few of them. I'm not sure how to change that. If anybody can let me know, because I really think this turned out so cute and I could make a few more for my uh, granddaughter. So I'm really loving this and I hope she loves it. She hasn't seen it yet. She hasn't been over this weekend since I'm sick. I probably won't see her at all till next weekend. So, oh, I definitely will be seeing her next weekend because we're having a sleepover. Her parents are going to a wedding, so we're gonna have a sleepover. So she'll get this and maybe she'll have another one to match. So that's uh, my emoji. It turned out really cute. And I just used a scrapped red heart, a scrap ball of red heart, and the black is red heart also. So I'm very happy with that. It was cute. I'm not very good at um, the embellishments, but getting a little better since there's quite a demand in my house for little emojis and um, little amigurumis. So, um, Hopefully I'll get better at that. And then my last finished object is the primrose blanket. I just try and learn new stitches. So it's the primrose stitch that I learned. And I made another uh, lap gam for wheelchair. So, you know, since 
I have a lot of mine I've made are in pinks and reds and everything. I thought I'd make a more neutral color for a gentleman. Oh. oh, I got it. So this is where I was last time. I had done that much and then I finished it off with that much. So it's basically, this one's a little larger, I guess, because I had to go with measurements at the top because I had never done this stitch. I didn't know how much it would stretch or shrink at the beginning. So um, this one's 34 by 40. So it's a little wider. So I'm pleased how this turned out. And then I just did um, a single row of the variegated and then a single row of just plain gray and these were all scraps that I got from the uh, Cambridge um, oh I can't remember what it's called Cambridge fibers I didn't make it this week because I was sick and I'm really disappointed because my girlfriend wanted to come with me because she uh, is an amazing knitter and an amazing crocheter and she's the one that inspired me to start crocheting so I'm hoping that she's available this week and we can head up to Cambridge Fibers and um, take a look and see what they've got. So I've got no plans for the weekend. I'm still not feeling great, but um, I think we're just going to take it easy. And um, we're from Toronto and it's do or die for our Toronto Maple Leafs tonight. It's um, It was the best out of seven and they're tied 3-3 now. So tonight's the night. They've got to do it. We've got to break the curse. Come on, Maple Leafs. So um, I'll be paying attention to the hockey game more so than my crochet tonight, I think. So on that note, I believe that's all I've got for this week. So have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.